Alright guys, welcome back. Again, my name is James, or better known as the Palm from my blog. So today we're on our third review in the water-based pomade series. And so today we'll be looking at the same brand from yesterday, Grant's Golden Brand Pomade. So if you haven't watched that review already, go ahead, you should go watch it right now. You can find it on my channel. Because today, instead of looking at the original, we'll be looking at the medium blend, which is this baby right here. So we're going to skip the, the little history facts and stuff about the brand itself and go ahead and start looking at the jar right away. So here's the pomade itself. As I said before, this is Grant's Golden Brand Medium Blend Pomade. It has a Hawaiian theme to it, so I'll talk about the scent later. However, you can clearly see that it has a sunset color scheme to the label. It comes in the same jar and size as the original line with ingredients on the back. Now, I really appreciate this out of Grant's. If you guys could read the ingredients right now, and, or you guys were able to compare, you actually see that the original line is very different from the medium line. It's like a new formula. What I don't like out of a lot of companies is when they make a, like a lighter blend or like a heavier blend, all they really do is add water or take a little bit away. Or when it comes to oil based, they just like add a little more petroleum or they actually just like add a little bit more wax. It's still the same formula. But I really appreciate that Grant's went a lot, like the further, like a further step and made a new formula for the medium blend. So if you guys open it up, it has a similar appearance to the original line. So a similar color, slightly more yellow. But if you guys could tell, it's also it's a lot smoother looking. And just by looking at it, I kind of sense that it's not going to be as strong. It's going to be more of like a, as, it, as it's described, a more medium blend, a slightly lighter blend. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So... As you can see, I have nothing in my hair, and it looks fucking terrible. This is because I want to give every single pomade a fair review, and start off on the same spot, which is the best case scenario, with your hair dry. So as you can imagine, when you're using water-based products, if your hair is wet, if you have water in your hair, you're already taking away from the product strength and hold by diluting it. So, if you want to utilize the full strength of any water-based pomade, make sure to start your hair dry. But anyways, We'll go ahead and open the jar now. The medium blend has one of the best smells of any pomade I've ever owned. So I would describe it as like a very a pina colada smell. However, take a little bit less coconut and a lot and like a good amount more um, pineapple, and this is about the smell that you should you're you're gonna get out of this product. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with the application. So right off the bat. Just look at that. I've never seen a more beautiful scoop in my life. I mean... So right now this is reminding me about uh, Suavecito Original. So honestly with the original Suavecito I did have problems styling with it because of a lack of strength. However, even though this does remind me of the um, Suavecito Original right now, while I like take it when I like bring it through my hair, I notice it's still a lot has a lot more grip than what I remember with Suavecito. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. So I'll be trying to compare mostly to uh, Grant's original this time, since uh, it's probably the safest uh, baseline to take to uh, for from reference for referencing uh, the characteristics of this pomade. But yeah, I think this will be the last lick I take of it. So, like I said before, and in my other reviews, I'll be using only the rat tail comb today. So I'm going to go ahead and slick everything back now. So yeah, from what I'm seeing right now, so this product does advertise um, actual shine, so I do see a little bit of sheen in my hair right now, which I like. Um, it definitely, in comparison to both Grant's original and um, my first review of Slick Devils, it actually does feel wet. Um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and form the part now. Another feeling I'm getting out of this thing is uh, definitely the holds not as strong as original as expected. It is like slicker as I would describe it so far as well. So the sides are like adequately tight. It's not as uh, tight as slick that was, but it, it is. It does seem to be uh, tighter than the original line right now. So since that's a little clean now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start forming the pop now. Alright guys, I think I'm about done, so let's go ahead and give a final inspection of the hair. So, as you guys can see, my sides are held pretty like nice and tight. Um, so, I would say that the medium blend did do a better job slicking down my sides versus the original um, pomade. The part is pretty nice, the edges are nice, there's not, a, there's like not a lot if any at all like loose strands which makes me really happy and the pop itself is actually surprisingly like nice it's pretty tall it has a nice shape but there is one characteristic that, that's different so in comparison to the original pomade um, of Grant's Golden Brand that one gave my hair a lot of like balance and like life as I would describe it however the medium blend is very much like a traditional water-based pomade. It's not overly strong at all, but it is more refined than the ones commonly found on the market. So, as I would say, if you guys are already like down with like Sol Recito and like Late Right and Thrace Flores, the ones commonly found and commonly used, then like the little inconveniences you get with those products, such as like you have to wait some time for it to dry before you style, or you get like a lot of loose strands once you style, just for the nature of how they um, formulated their water-based product with this product you actually don't get it so yeah so it doesn't have like the innovation and like the surprise it, it didn't get, bring something new to the table honestly but it brought like what's already known but it did it better than before so if you're looking for like a water-based product but you're not pleased with the ones on the market and you want something completely new, I'd probably recommend you to the original line instead or over to Slick Devils. But if you're already like really happy with Solacito, Late Ride, you, you, like the, like, you like what it gives you and you feel like kind of trying something new or you kind of want to expand a little bit, then I would recommend looking into like, Grant's like, Medium Blend because basically you'll get the same product except the little inconveniences you had with those products, they'll be gone. So, um, so yeah, no, I like I like the way my hair looks. I'm pleased. I'm definitely pleased. So, the medium blend does get my seal of approval, and this will be my last review for this weekend. So next weekend I will be doing more water-based reviews as part of this series, and so subscribe and keep a keep a heads up, keep an eye out. I will be adding more reviews, but. Yeah.